Hi. Hello once again, everybody. Welcome to your part two of episode 1069 for your glorious hump day Wednesday, May 24th, 2023. And in this one, I'm going to be learning about a blessed routine from Leslie Coe, K-O-H, derived from Ecclesiastes 2, 17 through 26. So if you're excited about this one, I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the first video of the day for explanation. And remember the like challenges will be canceled at episode 1100 if not met by then. And don't make, I don't want to cancel it, so don't. All I'm asking is for 10 videos at four likes. That's all I'm asking. Pretty simple to hit the like button and get 10 videos at four likes only. So, but I, but how, how has your hump day Wednesday been so far? Birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. And what, what is your, what, what is something you do as a routine? What is some kind of routine you do that you have to do it? And you have to do it a certain way. Let me know in the comments. I would like to see some neat, neat routines that people do. So that, that's something, that'd be something to see. What kind of routines people have and what ways do they have to do it? I've got I've got them. I'm not going to list them. I got too so many things I do a certain way that I'm not. I'm not, there's too many of them to list to explain them. So, but I have I have some routines that I do that I must do them a certain way. Some people may hate the way I do I do those things, but it's just the way I do them. The way I've been doing them for years, and they just it's just common knowledge almost. <laughs> but birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. Like I, if I said that, subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friend. Help me at first to reach the 50 mark, which will be five more to hit that mark. My three-year anniversary is on Saturday. Your three years of videos will be somewhere right around episode 1100 of the Daily Devo uh, videos. Somewhere. And it'll, it'll either be for four, right at, or after. I don't know. So I'm giving you just a certain, certain number to look for. So. I have everybody sat down and looked at it to see how many days. Well, basically, if I if I could get the episode ten ninety five to the original, the original one, then I could sit down and figure out how many. I could look at the calendar and see how many day. Remember how many what days I missed, and then I could take those days off or add those to that to see what number comes up. So. But I would love to, to reach, and I also would love to reach the 100 subscriber mark by August the 1st or 15th at the latest. So if you'll kindly get me to those, to those goals, I will appreciate you more than you'll ever imagine. So let's learn about a blessed routine. Leslie writes, Watching the morning crowd pour into, onto the train, I felt the Monday blues kick in. From the sleepy, grumpy faces of those in the jam-packed cabin, I could tell no one looked forward to going to work. Some people don't. <laughs> Frowns broke out as some jostled for space and more tried to squeeze in. Here we go again, another mu mundane day at the office. Then it struck me that just a year before, the trains would have been empty because COVID-19 lockdowns had thrown our daily 
routines into disarray, which, in a way, my opinion, I hope this don't don't offend nobody, but I I I think those lockdowns were kind of kind of crazy and unneeded. That's all I have to say about that part. I don't want to go. I don't go go into detail about what. I just I just think they were out of line and unneeded. That's all I could say. We couldn't even go out for a meal. And, and some actually missed going to the office. But now we were almost back to normal. And many were going back to work as usual. Routine, I realized, was good news. And boring was a blessing. So anybody have a job that seemed like just a normal routine? You have to go in a certain time, get off at a certain time, go home, have a few hours of family time, go uh, get washed up, go to bed, get up at a certain time, go back to work the next day. I, I never had that. I never had that. In a way, didn't have that. I had that when I was going to school. The routine of getting, going to bed at a certain time at night, getting up maybe an hour, hour and a half before having to leave the house to go to school. Or hour, hour and a half before the bus would show up just to get up and get woke up, everything, get, find your clothes. Usually some, most of the time with younger Younger days, you would set your clothes out the night before the, the outfit you were going to wear for school the next day, so you would have that ready to go, but most of the time, that wasn't wasn't the fact at the high school. You never knew what you were going to wear. You just got up, looked around your clothes. Oh, I like this. I like this pair of shorts. I like this pair, or pair of pants. I like this shirt. I want to wear this shirt today. Find your book bag. Make sure you had all your uh, everything in your book bag like you needed it, and and you went out and got. Sometimes you would get a bowl of cereal or something. Sit around, wake up. If you had a bus to catch, you know what time the bus would be by your at your wherever your stop was going to be. You knew what time the bus would be by there, so you would you get out the door get down to the bus stop and wherever your bus stop was. And then you get on the bus, you go to school, you do your schoolwork for the whole day. Then you get back on the bus in the afternoon. You come home. You get to play around a few hours. Then you had to come in for dinner time, get washed up, get cleaned up, you go to bed. Next day, same thing. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of missed the routine of school. In a way, I that that kind of, kind of balanced me out when I had that schedule. But I'm out of school and I ain't got no, I ain't got that balance, or I ain't got a job to even do a to balance myself. I'm do, I do, I'm do, I am employed, but I haven't worked. Since Mother's Day, because I, I did a, I did a job, I a, a, I go to uh, I work with I, I got a company that I supposed to be working for. Um, I take these I take a job order and go to certain whatever store that I whatever job order I pick up. I go to that store that that orders for. I go in the store shop for somebody, like a grocery store. I'll go in and shop for somebody, get everything. I go check out. The payment goes through the system. Then I come in and put it in my vehicle. On some of them, I can put them in my vehicle and get their address. I drive in their address and drop it off. And I only did that one on Mother's Day because, hey, I wanted to try it out and I should I should have did a store that I knew what I was doing. 
because I went to a store I never been to, and half the stuff I couldn't find, half the stuff wasn't even in stock. I, I had to re, we had to refund the person ordering this stuff. We had to re, refund that person. I know there was like four or five items that I had to cancel, so that means it refunded the stuff back to, because they had already paid for the order. The order was already paid for. I just had to pick it up, make sure it was all there, run it through the system, get it bagged, go out there and drop it off. So, because there wasn't not, was four or five items, they weren't even in stock. A couple items weren't even. They weren't, weren't there. They weren't going to get any more to the next day. And then other items were just not even in stock. <laughs> so, but I wish I need to, I need to do a few more jobs. Get the, get paid some more. So, and I did get paid. I got $25 for that job. I need to put, I need, need to do two, two or three more and then I get like a hundred dollars and I'll be, I'll be set to, I can start maybe doing one job a day if I don't have to take my mom to a doctor's doctor's appointment. I just the days that she don't have. I need to start setting up days that she doesn't have any appointments. I need to say I'm gonna get up, turn my lo- locator on, and when a job comes up that I can do. I'm going to jump at it and go do it. So, but where was I? Oh, King Solomon came to the similar conclusion after reflecting on the seemingly pointlessness of daily toil. Ecclesiastes 2, 17 through 23. At times it appeared endless, meaningless, and unrewarding. Verse 21. But then he he realized that simply being able to eat, drink, and work each day was a blessing from God, verse 24. And in verse 25 says, Without God, who can eat or find enjoyment? So when we're deprived of routine, we can see that these simple acts of a, or a, actions are a luxury. Let's thank God that we can eat and drink and find satisfaction in all our toil for this is his gift. Chapter 3, 13. So what simple blessings can you thank God for today? And what can you do for someone who's in need or is unable to enjoy life's simple routines? And that's basically what the uh, shopping thing is. Some people just can't, don't have time to get to a store and needing a few items that there's no way for them to get to a store to get the items. And that's what Instacart is. Um, DoorDash does groceries. Walmart has their shopping. You all go on to walmart.com, go in there and pick the items up or pick the items out, put them on order, and you can either go pick them up yourself or you can have them delivered. You can have somebody come pick them up and bring them to your house, which I've had that done a few times because I had no way of going. So Back when we didn't have a vehicle because of my losing my brother, he was the only vehicle in the household. And then when I finally got, I got my license and we bought a uh, vehicle from my cousin and then I was able to get, get back on the road and start driving and huh. been a couple of times I've had to call up restaurants to get something for supper and I couldn't go get it because either my battery was dead or or something in the thing where I could not get the engine in the crank and somewhat it was the, the battery. 
having troubles with the battery. And I couldn't get it to crank, so I had to call somewhere and get something delivered. A couple times I've had to do that, but... <laughs> but... Ponder those... Uh, Answer those, put those answers to those questions in the comment section below. Put and put Q1 or Q2 with your response, and it doesn't have to be a response of your own. You can have someone else help you come up with something if need be. But pondering those questions by saying this Dear God, thank you for my usual, my usual routines, no matter how boring they may be, may seem at times. Help me to be grateful for your every blessing in life. So your Bible reading for this one today is 1 Chronicles 22, 23, 24. And the rest of John chapter 8, 28 through 59. So. Coming up tomorrow in part 2 of episode 10, 1070, we will be all for Jesus. From Cindy Hess Casper, from Colossians 3, uh, 15 to 24. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that later tonight and hopefully Fridays as well. But you'll see that tomorrow after one. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on. Trust in God. And he'll keep you safe and all you're saying to 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later after 7, and we'll be talking about episode uh, 547 uh, or 8. Your Hump Day Wednesday turning point, May 24th. We're going to look and ask. First Thessalonians 5 2 is our beginning passage. I recommend reading in 2 Peter 3, 11 and 12. Our turning point is from John Calvin. And our Bible reading is Nehemiah 11, 12, and 13. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after 7. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> <coughs> Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Getting ready to finish that finish that last line in my outro. And, oh, I got tickle in my throat. Then. Sorry about that. But until later, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your hump day, Wednesday afternoon. And we'll see you later after 7. So with that said, goodbye. <laughs>